one of the earlier uh, videos on our website talked about how you do a simple or a single level sort of data in Microsoft Excel. This video focuses on how you do a multi-level sort of data in Microsoft Excel. You may have, for example, in a worksheet, a list of information about customers, maybe the city that they're in, maybe the amount of dollar, of the dollar orders of a product that, they, that they've sold to you. And what you might want to be able to do is to do a multi-level sort of information. Maybe first of all, sort of by the city that they're in, hold on to that sort, then sort of by the uh, name of the supplier, and then maybe even sort of by the dollar amount of the orders that they, that they have sold to you. So this video gives you an example of how you go about sorting data on more than one level of information in your worksheet. Enjoy the video. A previous video that's posted on our website talked about how you do a simple or single level sort. This video demonstrate how, demonstrates how you do a multi-level sort. This worksheet has a list of different purchase orders. It shows the supplier that are selling things to an organization. It shows the different departments or services, child care, autism, youth justice. It shows the location of the of the different parts of the organization and there are three locations in this case they are Keswick, York and Peterborough and it shows the dollar amount of the purchase order. What I want to be able to do is do, is to do a three level sort of information. I want to first of all sort it by the location column, maintain that sort, then sort it by the supplier column, maintain that sort, and then finally sort it by the cost column. So this is an example of a three level sort of data. In order for this to work you have to first of all just be in a cell in your data area. You can't be out in a blank part of your worksheet. So I'm somewhere in my data area. I'm going to take my mouse up to the top of the screen, make sure I'm on the data tab. I'll move across in the ribbon to the sort and filter group. And in the sort and filter group, I'm going to go to the sort button. I'll click on that. And it takes me into the sort window. Now in this window, it automatically picks the first column in the worksheet. That's why it picks up on PO number. I want to change this. I'll click on the drop down arrow. And in the drop down list, I'm going to choose location. That's my first level of sorting. And off to the right, I'll leave it as it is, as A to Z. In other words, all the A locations first and those Z locations last. Now I want to hold on to that sort and do a secondary sort. So in this window, in the upper left-hand corner, I'll click on the Add Level button. That adds a second level of sorting on for me. And this time I'll move to the drop-down arrow in the second row. And I'll choose the word Supplier, this column here. And I'll leave this again as A to Z. I want to do a third level of sorting. Click on it. Add Level button. It takes me to the third row. I click on the drop down arrow. And this time I'm going to sort it by the cost column, this column here. This time, rather than sort of smallest to largest, I'll click on the down arrow and I'll choose largest to smallest. So what I'm doing again is I'm going to sort it by location first, then by supplier, and then by the cost column. I'll click OK. And now I had my spreadsheet is now sorted by the location column first of all. It shows all the different suppliers sorted of by the uh, that column. Then finally it shows the cost column sorted largest order to the smallest order. I'm going to try that one more time. I'm going to go back again up to the sort button. Now I'm going to get rid of some of these here just to show you how you get rid of different rows in here. I'll click on the delete level. I'll click on this and this one. And I'm going back to just the starting point. I'll click on the drop down arrow. I want to sort this by the service column first of all, this column here. Then I want to sort it by another level, so I click on Add Level. I want to sort this by the location. And I'll click on Add Level again, and by the cost column. And this time I'll go smallest to largest. So service column first, location column second, and cost column third. And I'll click OK. It shows me all the autism services first of all. All the child care second, sorting by the location column and then by the cost column. So those are two examples of how you can use the multi-level sort feature in Excel 2010. So I hope that you can see how valuable Microsoft Excel can be when you're managing a list of information. It allows you to sort information in the way that you want to see the information. We have a lot of other videos on our website at www.joecomputertips.com that help you, be, help you become more effective as you use Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and so on. In fact, there's other videos on our website that talk about doing simple sorting of data, about filtering data in a worksheet, and also doing advanced filtering of data in a worksheet. So please visit our website and check those videos out. My name again is Joe Peterson, and thanks for watching today's video.